as the Armory New Balance Track and Field Center in Washington Heights. This is the Dr. Sander Invitational Columbia Challenge, which features elite high school, college, and professional track and field athletes. So here we are, Thingmo just took, what was that? Runner up in the, in the women's invite sectional, high schooler, 53.7. I don't know, but anyways, great job. What was it like running with the pros? Uh, it was, well, first time in the 400, that was different. Uh, it felt, it was pretty good though. Um, I didn't think I ran the race pretty well and, you know, just try to come out and execute. So. Congratulations, you're a local girl here, cor yeah, yeah. Co correct? Yes. And, and, and tell, uh, tell me what, how you felt about your performance and, and what you'll be working on. Uh, I think it was pretty well. I mean, lately we've just been working on speed, getting ready to run, getting ready for the 800. So next up is working on the eight. So this is just practice, I guess. You're running what a five and a four, but it's focused still the eight this indoor season. Uh, yes, def yeah, always. And do you want to try to make like the world indoor team? So you ask, like, what's the goal? Uh, I mean, I just want to compete at USA's, both indoor and outdoor. Whatever happens, happens. You know, if I make a team, that's amazing. If I don't, there's Lots of other opportunities to make. The U.S. is still good at 800, but I mean, the Olympics are only every four years, and you're pretty young. Are you thinking, like, I can try to make Tokyo, or...? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if I go out and for my best, execute every round, and really just have fun with it, I think I can, you know, possibly be on that team. So now that you've been in a couple big pro races, you were yeah. in, you know, um, USA, you went up against the pros, big levels, you know, how much more comfortable does that make you going into the Olympic year? Uh, it's not, it's no, I'm not, I'm no longer going into, like, you know, pro races or any race blindly anymore like I was this past summer. It's more of experience, so, you know, every time I learn something new, but it's definitely come normal. Like, this race felt just like any other race, so. What was the big thing you took away? You said never done a 400. What was your big, big thing taken away from today? Uh, just running with the big dogs for the first time in indoor court. I mean, I PR'd, so I'm happy with that. Have you ever thought about, like, professional or that far ahead? I mean, you kind of do your own thing now anyway, like... Yeah, no, not not yet. I'm just focusing on the next step, which is going to be college, and then we'll see where that takes me. What's your next race? Uh, Camel City Elite, the eighth. So two weeks from now, the 800. Have you confirmed the college yet? Oh, yes, Texas A&M. Okay. Yeah. Like, so yeah, that, that yeah, I forgot about that actually. Oh, this. <laughs> I mean, they've had such great success. Was that sort of an easy decision for you? Uh, not. Not really, you know, every college is really great where they have good and bad, but it definitely was a hard decision to make. No matter what college I was going to, everyone was pretty well and I had a great time on all my visits. And was your mindset pretty much, I'm definitely going to college, or did you ever think about doing the pro thing? No, I, I don't know, it's just been, I just, it's been on and off, so yeah, just going to do college for now. All right, thank you. And I'm Crystal Hart reporting from the Armory New Balance Track and Field Center in Washington Heights. Hope you've enjoyed the show and thanks for watching.